Hi everyone, welcome to Rodian Builds. If you're new here, my name is Rodian, and today something exciting is happening on the house build. Let's go and have a look. That's right guys and gals, we have our first fix electrics going in. We've got cables all over the place. We've got spotlights going in for the kitchen running along. I don't actually know what this is for. I'm no electrician so I don't know. Yeah, we've got some down lights going in here. This is where the main box is gonna be, the consumer unit. Fuse board, that's where that's going. So yeah, we've got plug for boiler, stuff like that. Yeah, just, it's looking good. It's looking good because progress is happening. And there we go, more downlights, more downlights running through here. Don't know what that is. This is where the TV is gonna go. We're gonna have a high point for the TV. Uh, low points down there for your PlayStation and whatnot. We're gonna have the TV on a swivel arm. I made sure that there is gonna be a double plug socket because that is where the Christmas tree is gonna go. Bit of forward thinking for the old Christmas tree. You've got to make sure you've got a plug socket for that. So the electricians don't particularly want to be on camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do much like I am today. Come around after they've done their day's work. Just sort of show you all the good bits. The, the different bits. The, the changes like down lights going in. Stuff like that. Just, just the, the highlights. Because I don't really want to bore you with all the bits and pieces. Anyway. There's a few things we have to do as well. So let me just go upstairs and I'll explain. These boards here are covering up where the stairs are gonna be. They're gonna be sort of like a spar around stairs, but I just came up from there. Anyway, my point is the reason we're up here and I have got some timber here because we've got some walls to build, some stud walls. This room here is, instead of it being one massive room, is gonna be two bedrooms. So I don't know if you can see the pencil line on that wall. This is denoting the center point for a wall that is gonna go through here to segregate these two rooms. And also we need to build a stud wall going through here because this in here is gonna be a bathroom. And then if we go through to the master bedroom, it might be a bit dark in here for you guys to see, but we need to also build a wall going through here because we're gonna have a bathroom with a shower and also a walk-in wardrobe here. So we've got a few walls that need to be, need to be put up. One through there one through there and then one through there. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna start over there and work our way through here. So let's get cracking. Had the blues, but nothing ever stopped me from dusting off my shoes. You might think you'll see me falling to the ground.
And we're back. Okay, so it has been a few days since I last saw you guys. I know I said that I was gonna give you an update after each day with the electrics, but I decided to just do it all at the end. The electricians have finished their first fix. I'm gonna quickly go around and show you what they've done in a second. But I would just like to say a couple of things. One, I haven't actually finished the timber stud work. There are no beams in the middle like these parts here. I haven't put those through here. And also just in the back here, I've also done the toilet shower room and um, ensuite, but again, I haven't put bits of timber in the middle. Now, the reason I haven't finished this is because I've hurt my back. So the last video that went up, the bullseye video, sort of two thirds into the way of that, I went down, picked a brick up, twisted around, and I hurt my back. I have had a bad back since I was 19. Um, just this, this happens to a lot of bricklayers, you get bad backs. But the reason my bad back turned up was because I didn't pay attention to health and safety. When you pick up something heavy, cement, bags like that, anything like that, you're always supposed to lift with your legs, not your back. I never knew that when I was younger. I wasn't taught very well in regards to health and safety and how to lift things properly until I went to college. So I did that bad, lifted it up, and yeah, since then I've had a bad back. I slipped a disc in my lower back when I was 19. And yeah, since then I've had a bad back. So this is a warning to all bricklayers. Always lift with your legs, not your back. Pay attention to how your back feels. And one bit of advice that I would say is something that's helped me over the years is going to the gym and working on core strength like your abs and your muscles around your spine. That um, when I slipped my disc when I was 19, I was told by a physiotherapist that Working on those muscles in your core will help the muscles in your spine and basically you won't get a bad back. Now, I know the reason why I've had a bad back is because I haven't been to the gym throughout the whole lockdown. I haven't done any working out or anything. So I reckon that's why my back went because before that I've been hitting the gym and I've had no woes whatsoever. So again, like I say, a bit of a warning to bricklayers, pay attention, look after your back because it is probably one of the most common injuries bricklayers get because you spend a lot of your time head down arse up laying bricks in the fittings lifting up heavy ball breaker blocks the six inch concrete blocks they are really heavy so yeah just some bit of few tips let's say to any newbies out there any uh, apprentices pay attention and listen to health and safety always use your legs when lifting heavy things and if you can work get down the gym work out do some do some work on your core muscles and help build up those muscles that are around your spine Okay, I just thought I'd let you guys know that because I've, I haven't done quite as much in here as I wanted to because I've sort of, I've been in bed for the past three days with my bad back, been on some painkillers. So anyway, enough of the sob story from me. I'm just going to quickly go around and show you exactly what the electricians have done. What I'll do is I'll quickly pop in room by room and just show you some of the interesting points that I like to think anyway. Uh, so we've got plug socket, light switch, and there's going to be a double bed coming out along here. So we've got, uh, we will be having switches on either side here once that's been plastered. And also a neat little trick. Um, I'm going to be having a TV sort of on a swinger against that wall. So when you're lying in bed sort of here and you are looking that way, then you can swing that TV out when the curtains are drawn. Watch your TV and swing it back. So anyway, my point being, the electricians have put in conduit. So you can put your HDMI cables and your internet cables and run it in the wall and have it coming out the bottom so you don't get those unsightly cables running because they're, they're, you might want a PlayStation down here or something. So you don't want all the unsightly cables running down the wall so we're having it hidden in the wall and we're also going to have a plug socket and an aerial up here as well. So there's no unsightly cables. The same thing is going to be mirrored on that side and if we come out here into what will be the landing we've got just some basic plug sockets over there Few plug sockets here we have got a pendant here because i'm gonna have a nice big chandelier running down the middle because this whole section is open for where the stairs are going to be so i'm gonna have a nice dangling chandelier somewhere in the middle there um bathroom pretty much it, it, it's a bathroom there's no plug sockets in there we've got the the tubing in for the extractor fan that goes straight out there and um, that's pretty much it in the master bedroom you can probably see those two plug sockets for the bed the bed is going to be coming this way much the same in the other room we've got this conduit running down so that you can put your hdmi cables in it plug sockets at the top here um aerial sockets so the tv's on the wall and again like i said hdmi down there you could have a little side table there or something with your playstation or whatever on it 
Bathroom again, much the same. We have got the, the pipe work set in for the extractor fan and in the walk-in wardrobe, we've got a couple of down lights. Oh yeah, there's, there's gonna be uh, down lights all over the place here as well. This sort of, can't really tell, it's a bit dark in this room. But anyway, so that room's gonna be, all that wall is gonna be walk-in wardrobe. So we've got uh, a couple of plugs down there for your, uh, for your beauty table or whatever you wanna call it. Down lights in line there's a lot of down lights in this house all right so i'm going to pop down there and i'll show you downstairs i'm not going to put it on camera because it's going to take me a few minutes to get down because my back is still a little bit a little bit twitchy let's say we're now downstairs in the study or what will be the study there's a few plug sockets in here and there's one that i've requested for a sort of my own my own little gratification let's call it so you've got plug sockets uh, there's an outside plug socket on the other side of the wall. That's what that one's for. Uh, plug socket, plug socket. And this one, there's going to be a plug socket there, but also there's going to be one that comes down into the, into the floor and there's going to be a socket in the middle because I, this will probably be my office. So I'll be having a desk here facing this way, sort of looking out, that, out there. Um, and I don't, I don't really want to have wires running from here under there to my computer so I'm gonna have a plug socket in the middle that comes up into the desk um, we have a massive batch of oh this is the front door by the way locked up this, we have a massive batch of six switches here which is going to control uh, the upstairs light these hallway lights the living room the dining room and the kitchen I think that's what we're gonna have I can't really remember uh, downstairs bathroom again extractor fan light switch for there. Uh, we have got some cables in here for the manifold for the underfloor heating. It wouldn't have fit in the utility room, so it's going under the stairs. Um, we have to sort of plug sockets here and there all over the place. And again, this will be the corner for the TV. We're gonna have up high and down low again so that we can have the TV on the wall, run your cables in uh, HDMI's down there to your PlayStation and whatnot. Of course, it sounds like we have a PlayStation in every room, but anyway. Uh, switch for the Christmas tree, as I spoke about earlier. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of switches there. We've got another bank here, so that I'm gonna have the, when they have the bifold doors, I'm gonna have the main exit door here, so you can open this if you're just going in and out rather than using the whole bifold door. Come in here, six switches to control most of downstairs, another switch here. We are gonna have, uh, the breakfast bar is gonna be sticking out here, so we have got a couple of pendants that are gonna hang over the breakfast bar. And then kitchen, we haven't decided yet because I need to get in touch with the kitchen designers to have that designed. But we're probably gonna have a large range cooker in the center here. I was gonna have it over there, but it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit here, so I'll probably have it here. Um, some more switches there. And then into the utility room. That monstrosity is basically the electrical box the consumer unit's gonna be up there and a cupboard on the wall. We're gonna have an L-shaped set of worktop here we have a dishwasher uh, not dishwasher washing machine uh tumble dryer washing machine under there and then a sink so there's a few bits and pieces in here and this section here is where the boiler is going to go uh, the massive water tank is going to here i was going to have the pumps and manifolds for the underfloor heating here but the plumber reckons it won't fit but it's there's it, we can put it there if needs be we can just run that cable back to here anyway we're going to try and fit that in there so hopefully that was that's a quick rundown of the electrics and what's happened with all the electrics. Hopefully you can see sort of what's been put in here. We've also, you can probably see the run of cables coming down here that we're gonna have spotlights all through here, but we are gonna have one down light here because there's probably gonna be a large sort of dining table here, but it's gonna be one of the ones where you can plug in and plug off. So if you don't want this pendant down here and over the top of the table, you can just remove it. So there we go. That is all of the first fix electrics done apart from the kitchen. I have to hear back from my kitchen designer about where all the, all the units are gonna go, like the dishwasher and things like that. So we know where all the plugs can go. So I'll wait to hear back from them. And then electrician just said he'll pop back and fit them in, that's no worries. Um, but apart from that, yeah, first fix electrics are done. I need to wait until the plumber I've got to wait for a couple more prices from plumbers yet, but I need to wait for the plumber to come do a little bit of work up in some of the bathrooms up here before I can put all the floorboards down, because those floorboards 
those boards that I've got up there are temporarily at the moment. So I need to wait for him to come. Uh, I need to wait for a couple of prices to come back first. So I don't even know which plumber I'm using yet. Um, so that they can get up there, get a few bits of pipe work done while the floor's down, then I can put the floor in and it'll be a lot safer to walk up there, get a lot more stuff done as well. Okay guys, hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. I'm gonna go back now and chill out for the rest of the day, probably take a few painkillers. My back's feeling much better now. I'm not walking around looking like the old hunchback of Notre Dame at the moment. The past few days I have been a bit sort of like, sort of trying to stand up straight. It, it ain't really happened. So again, warning to bricklayers, take care of your back, work out your back, work on your core, lift with your legs, not your back. I've said it all before anyway. Anyway. We'll leave it there for today's episode. Please do leave a like down below if you've enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you aren't already. Ring that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. That being said, Brookside Rage is paid. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. So take care and I'll see you then. Ta-ra. Right.